Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So excited to record another video for you guys. I know it's been like a little bit since I've like recorded a video with makeup on. Well actually, it hasn't been that, well it has been that long because my hair was shorter. So that last video I, up, I uploaded, like I uploaded. Like so I finally ago. had some time to record the video. So I decided to record um, 10 makeup facts about myself. Um, this is going to be a collaboration video with Miss Breezy15, so I'm going to link her video below and she's going to do um, it as well. <laughs> I was kind of nervous about doing this video because, I don't know, I was just nervous about it. So, I'm going to be reading off my phone because I wrote it in my phone. So yeah, so let's get it started. So number one, I am not a cake face. Um, when I say that, like when I wear makeup, like... There's some people that really like to apply like like full coverage foundation. Like I really don't really care. I don't care too much for full coverage foundation. Like there's some people that like rave about MAC foundation. I don't really care for their foundation so much simply because they're, to me their foundation is really heavy. Like to be honest, I'll be excited just about wearing BB cream. Like I love BB cream and it's light and it doesn't feel like I've like loaded a bunch of makeup. All of these, my high end products before buying them. So, like, before buying anything, like, I swear, like, when I go to, like, when I go to the any type of high-end store and I purchase high-end makeup, I don't buy a lot of high-end makeup, but when I do, like, I'm asking them, like, 50 million questions. Like, you would think that I'm going to buy a car. Like, that's how many questions I ask. Like, I ask them, like, is it good for oily skin? Like, what type of products is, is in it? Like, um, like, I have them tested out on me. I like get samples see if I even like it like I'm very like serious when it comes to purchasing high-end makeup and then with me like I don't I do not like having to go back and return stuff like that is the most annoying crap ever like I don't like going back and returning stuff so I make sure like I'm in love with love with it in the store like I will literally like have the freaking makeup artist put the foundation on me and I'll walk around the store look at other products let it sit for a little bit to see if I even like it like that's how serious I am like I do not play when it comes to like products like that. Number three, my favorite lipstick of all and time. And I cannot, like, this lipstick, Jordana, if you ever stop making this lipstick, I'm gonna be so upset. Like, I always have a backup of this lipstick, but it's their matte lipstick and it's in Lavender Lady. This is my favorite lipstick. It is pretty much like, it's a lavender color and it has, what is the undertone? I don't know, I guess it's like a blue undertone. That's probably, I just, I really like it. When I wear this, like, it looks natural on me. It just, I love this lipstick. It's my favorite lipstick. As you can see, like, I use the crap out of it. And then this lipstick is very affordable. It's like $1.50 at um, the favorite drugstore. My favorite primer, and this is like the very first primer I ever purchased when I really start being serious about wearing makeup. But um, my favorite primer is the e.l.f. Eyelid Primer. This primer is only a dollar. And... I have really oily eyelids and this primer is like the best primer ever like my eyeshadow will last me like at least six to seven hours I do not spend more than fifty dollars at one time on my makeup now I have a lot of makeup majority of my makeup is drugstore but like even if I go to like Sephora or something like it's only I have to have I have to put myself in a limit because if I don't I'm gonna want to buy at the whole store like I cannot I, and then at that, like, I would feel so guilty if I went to the store. And even if, if I spent over, like, $80, I would feel guilty. Like, honestly, yeah, the most I'll ever spend is probably, like, 50 to 60 bucks at one time. I makeup. did my makeup for prom. I'm going to attach the picture so you can see because I said my prom picture. But I did my makeup for prom. I am, like such a picky person like I don't know I guess then like I wasn't really into like the whole letting somebody else do my makeup type of thing that everybody else was into so during prom I did my own makeup like I didn't do full on like glam makeup but I just like I did my eyeshadow I did my eyebrows and all that stuff and then then I probably didn't even really need to wear makeup like that but I already touched the picture but every, I got so many compliments that night like I even one of my um, friends from school she even told me like I wish I would have let you do my makeup for prom but yeah that's one thing like I wasn't I don't know like I'm proud of it now because I was probably like the only girl that didn't pay for somebody else I started wearing makeup. makeup when I was 13 so believe it or not I have been fascinated 
buy makeup since I was like in elementary school. But I didn't, I was not allowed to start wearing makeup until I was 13. So when I was 13, my mom, she took me um, to buy makeup. And we went to, she took me to a place where I buy a little cheap makeup. And yeah, so I bought makeup and I started wearing makeup when I was 13. I wearing makeup. So pretty much when I was a teenager, because I, I used to watch the Style channel all the time. So that's how I learned how to put makeup on. And then as I got older, I wasn't, it wasn't until I was like 20 years old so I actually started becoming fascinated by YouTube. Um, tutorials. I think like I stumbled across makeup videos on accident, but yeah, like I pretty much taught myself everything that I know how to do, I taught myself how to do. And everything, a lot of the stuff that I've done is like trial and error because like trust me, like I've put on makeup and I've looked ridiculous. Like I've, I trust me, I think all of us, I think every makeup artist has gone through that. Where like if they, especially if they taught themselves, gone to a phase where they just was fudging up stuff. And they looked ri ridiculous and they thought they was the ish. But like when you go back and look at the pictures, you was like, what was I thinking when I put that on my face? And I've had moments. I, become, I, I became obsessed with makeup when I started watching makeup tutorials. So I think I like with YouTube, I didn't even really know at the time. I didn't know that people actually make makeup tutorials. Like I knew people did fashion on YouTube, but I didn't think like it wasn't I didn't know, but it was like I didn't think that's what people did on YouTube. So I think it was one time I was just looking up videos and had to do a sewing or something and I stumbled across some makeup videos, tutorials. And one of them, I think this was before I even understood, like comprehended what concealer was for. And I'm 23, I was 20 then, and I was like, and I watched this makeup tutorial and this girl, she was putting on, like she was doing like the highlight and contour. So she's putting her foundation on, she's putting her concealer on, she's coming up her dark spots and I was just like, oh my goodness, like that must be stressful. But the finished product was like gorgeous. So then, yeah, like that's when I started becoming obsessed. And I wanted, every time I would go to the, the um, drugstore by little bit by little bit and I started building my, um, my makeup collection. And I have a lot of makeup. Yeah, but um, I will say this, um, Miss Breezy 15, she was probably one of the first um, YouTube um, gurus, on call guru, uh, makeup gurus that I watched on YouTube and I used to watch her channel I used to I, I used to watch her channel me and her like we talk and everything but like when I first started watching her channel I was so fascinated fascinated by her blue hair and she, I just thought she was really pretty and she was just very she's very down to earth she's very down to earth I'm sure you ladies know that too anybody that watched her videos you can tell that like, she's very down to earth she's very humble and I like that and then just the tie her tutorials she was just very very she's a very cool person and number 10 my favorite part of makeup love eye makeup um, I think before anything like that, before I even started wearing foundation, I was always doing eye makeup. I love eye makeup. And then at that, I think the part of the reason why I love eye makeup so much is that I've always gotten compliments about my eyes. Like, I don't know if it's the way my eyes are shaped or do I have, do I have big eyes? I don't know, but I've always gotten compliments about my eyes. So I guess like when I put makeup on, like I just want to enhance, make them look, stand out even more. So, yeah, I've always loved eye makeup. If anything, the most product, besides lipstick, I just become became a lipstick addict. But before lipstick, like, that's all eyeshadow. 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 And, like, my husband, oh, my gosh. Like, when I buy eyeshadow, he'd be like, why are you buying more eyeshadow? You have all the colors in the rainbow. He's like, you already have that color already. Why are you buying that? I'm like, no, it's a different formula. So I have to buy it. This is Maybelline. That's MAC. It's not the same thing. And like, <laughs> yeah, it's funny. But yeah, that is pretty much my 10 Be sure facts. to check out um, Miss Breezy 15's video. I'm gonna link it below. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. My Instagram name is brownbeauty808. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.